Welcome to you all. My name is Benjamin Ferenz. I'm speaking to you from New Rochelle, New York. Uh, I regret that I cannot be with you. However, I have been invited to make a few remarks about what I have been doing with my life, and I am now in my 96th year. My career has revolved around enforcing the criminal law on an international level. I was a poor immigrant boy who came to America in 1920. I served as a soldier in World War II. Uh, I entered as a private in the artillery. By the time I was a sergeant, I was busy investigating the war crimes which were being committed by the Nazi uh, concentration camps. Uh, I was a liberator of many of those camps, and uh, I wrote up the reports which served as a basis for later war crimes trials. When the war was over, I was invited to go back to serve the U.S. Army to be in charge of prosecution of war criminals in what was the biggest murder trial in human history. I convicted 22 defendants of murdering over a million people in cold blood. I spent the rest of my years trying to create an international criminal court and to uphold the rule of law to protect humanity, uh, as I had argued at Nuremberg, uh, because the crimes against humanity uh, were what was tearing the world apart. The Center for Justice and Accountability, which now exists in California, is probing these problems, which are very difficult, but with dedication, progress is being made substantially. Crimes are committed by individuals, and those who are responsible for the crimes should be held to account in a court of law. Everywhere today as I speak, there are crimes being committed against innocent people who've done nothing wrong, or being killed in various parts of the world because they don't share the race or the ideology or conviction of their executioners. Uh, there is no excuse for that, and uh, it's time for everyone, particularly the young people, to recognize the need to teach compassion and compromise and understanding uh, in order to create a more humane world.